Hello and welcome back to some more Broken Age. Let's see where we'll get started next in our story. Alrighty, so we landed here. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Not too happy about that. What do you birds do for fun around here? Uh oh. Oh. Maybe they will help me not fall. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm chit. Okay. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Float. I just escaped. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chakra is going to eat the town. You what? I did. Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. I didn't want to die. the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome. Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Uh-oh. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chakra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chakra. Chakra. Just don't. Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? I think she really wants to. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Well, their town is called Shell Mound. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? Ha! Ah. <laughs> I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. I'm not sacrificing. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloth. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jesse? Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, well, as I don't mom think birds the golden do. egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the greener code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that oak fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks. Cause leaks. Does he have a beak for a nose? And feathers for hair. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense. Mentally and physically. Oh no. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? There's Happy so much to, to learn about this town. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Oh. Quiet, chit. 
Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat, and then poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are oh, we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Gee, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two uh. later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chip. Sorry, Pop. Aw, let him do what he wants. Let's check out the mom, see if I can get some cloud shoes. Careful! Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The oh, supposed guru my name. husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. But it let it control your life. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish you had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay. Enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Surface area. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Oh. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Huh? No, ah, my work. There's She's like awkward and stuff. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, ah, my work. Okay. Controls. I don't remember. Inventory. Is that button? Okay. I lost my knife. Okay, I thought I had it with me. Uh, let's try this way. I need to find my knife. Or 
a knife. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. I don't have That's a empty. bowl of enlightening. Yes. Right that is why I said that thing about making an offering. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather. Fathur. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. May the wind be under your feet. So I need to make an offer, I need to find Gus, and I need to get Can a I knife. Can I go up that ladder? Yes, after you place an offering in the bowl. I don't have anything, so I guess I gotta go find something. Let's try this path. No, 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 Hi, no. Hi, I'm Mag... Mm, McGee. Hey, what's up? <sighs> nothing. Oh, you have a letter. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. There's an egg in the distance. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> mm. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Uh, he's just taking this Lightbeard worship a little too far, but it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. <laughs> I'd rather the line what are you dancing. Doing exactly. I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nest? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I. Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Gonna borrow Can it? Can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Thank you. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. I got a ladder. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the Feather Vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick, Ew. but it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Oh, that's yeah. still that's still gross. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. 
Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. Homemade's oh, cool. Sure thing is all she's got. Oh, so you're the you team. <sighs> okay. Can I get the golden egg that's over here? That ladder really extended. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. No, 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 no. Okay. I got so many tasks here. Okay, let's go Hi. this way. Oh, knife! My knife! My knife! Hey, welcome back. Welcome. Hi, doe. Good to see you again. Doe, down here. Got her. Get the knife. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. It's mine now. I gotta go this way. Where's my knife? Hi. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Mark can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, ah, my work. Here. Say, that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. And maybe I can now. Hi. Hello. I'm gonna go this way. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Oh, I gotta get them to stay on my feet now. You want trade? Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Whoa, what did my mom make those shoes for? An elephant? Okay, you can't help me. We'll go this way then. How about a nice pair of comfy shoes? No thanks. Got some already. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Sorry, I cannot handle the donations directly. Please use the bowls. Oh. Uh, 